Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth, and as you can see by the graphics, I'm going to be talking about Fail Squad Games, and uh, its uh, lead developer is Lloyd Metcalf. So, recently I had a, a brief conversation with Lloyd on Facebook. Uh, he had mentioned that you know he'd like for some people to you know, give some of his products a, you know, a good running through. And so I, I PM'd him and I said, you know, I'd, I'd be willing to do that. And, you know, I, I let him know that I have a, uh, I have this channel and I do RPG reviews. And uh, if I took a look at one of his adventures, uh, you know, I, and I, I enjoyed it, that I would, you know, of course, make a video and, and put it out there and, and help just single signal boost uh, his products. And so, uh, he sent me several in the, uh, you know, in the PM to take a look at. And, and what I'll do is I'll preview through the, um, the PDFs that I do have. I'm not going to go into detail with the, the most recent one that he ran on the Kickstarter because, you know, the, the backers haven't received it yet. I'll, I'll just talk about it as far as the game mechanics are concerned but I'm certainly not going to reveal any spoilers. Um, but I'm also going to show you his his Kickstarter video so that you can see that um, and, and let him basically do the talking for himself and for his product so that you'll get an understanding of what he's actually looking to put out there for you to take a look at. So I'm just going to switch views really quick and I'll run that video. So his most recent is uh, is False Keep. It's a 5e or uh, Sword and Wizardry adventure. And here's the video. So we will run this video. This is Void Mecca from Fail Squad Games. Do you need an adventure for when you have everything planned in this direction and the adventure is going that direction? Well, you need this. What this is is a quick kick adventure. We're going to do a series of short, one week long Kickstarters that produce an adventure between 8 and 12 pages long. This one just happens to be 11. And we're going to deliver in PDF only, full color, straight to your inbox. So you'll never be caught unprepared again. If the event, you never know where your party's going to go, and we want to provide you with the tools to keep up and make it look like, hey, you knew what was going on all along. As a generally unprepared GM myself, I know this is something that I needed, and these are some of my personal adventures that I want to, that I'm, want to run and am running for my groups, and I'm just producing them for you. So get in on this. This is only going to cost you three bucks to be in, six bucks if you want both fifth edition and Swords and Wizardry, and let's make it happen. Thanks a lot for supporting Fail Squad Games and this quick kick adventure, and I hope that there'll be a lot more in the future. Okay, so there you go. So, like, like I said, this is the most recent one that he has run, and um, you know he certainly hit all of his targets. 194 backers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, very typical support levels. So you see support, you know, with a dollar pledge. That's just to watch. That's just usually just to boost somebody's. Uh, you know, boost somebody's pocket without actually having to, you know, get the item itself. It's just to give some some support. Three dollars for the adventure, and uh, you know, for both it would be six dollars. So very cheap as far as uh, what you're getting. And a quick kick refers to the fact, as he said, that. You know, these are going to be like one week long Kickstarters and, you know, producing these, you know, any, <coughs> oh, excuse me, anywhere from eight to 12 pages uh, in length, easy to pick up and run. 
All right, for the unprepared GM. I really like that line too. It's like, you know, as a as an unprepared GM. Um, you know, because you know, once in a while something comes up in uh, you know, in the game session that you're just not anticipating and this is a good opportunity. I'll switch views. Uh, this is an opportunity to, you know, throw something at the at the players. Um, I was I was thinking where this would really come in, you know, uh, handy is if you, you know, you have a player that doesn't show up, um, but it was a player that was consistently in the campaign and, you know, had a character that you're kind of attached to as, as both the GM, as, as the players and, you know, as the group as a whole. And since you, you might be together, you know, and looking to run a game session, you don't want to run something in your campaign. And so these little side quests would actually come in very handy uh, to uh, to throw at the character, uh, the players that did show up. So that's certainly how I would think of using it. So like I said, uh, Lloyd had sent me a couple, uh, a couple PDFs uh, to take a look at. And I will start by switching over here and <clears throat> so one of the one of the first ones that I opened up was this uh, this character sheet and this is for the lands of lunacy so this is uh, this is fail squad games uh, campaign setting all right so the lands of lunacy and very very simple oh, excuse me uh, coffee is hitting me very very simple character sheet the, the the very common uh you know strength through charisma with its modifiers uh this is looking almost like a D &D, uh D, D first edition or you know odd as it's uh sometimes called very basic uh character sheet he gave me a second character sheet and this one is more in line with uh 5e and so um you know very common. Yeah, certainly it has the, the traits, the ideals, the bonds, the flaws. So this is a 5e character sheet. Now, one of the adventures that I did pick up is the, um, it's two, it's a two pager, you know, so front and back. So very short little page. I'll let it get caught up in, uh, you know, so it gets, oh, there we go. I just want you to see the format, you know, so the format here is, uh, I like the fact that he lists all the different types of, uh, the types of creatures that you are going to face in this adventure, along with uh, what page in the monster manual you will find them on, you know, uh, for this particular, you know, for this particular compatibility game. So this is a 5e. So that's that's a pretty you know cool thing for him to do is to list that so you can quickly reference it. It's got a synopsis, <coughs> a slight modification. Uh, that's what this infected is. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because you might want to you know purchase this uh, adventure, and so I don't want to spoil anything. These great inboxes are for you know, reading the description to the players. It's got decent art. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a small panel. I printed everything in black and white, you know, but everything is in full color as well. Um, and you can see a nice, short, you know, quick uh, adventure that you can run for the players that did show up. And uh, it, has, it has a nice variety of attributes uh, that you might have to check uh, or skills that you might have to check and it's the same thing with this adventure here so this is the this is the most recent Kickstarter and you could say Lloyd you know Lloyd Metcalf wrote it the editor-in-chief is uh, G Scott Swift and the swords and wizardry conversion uh, expert I'd say is Ian McCarthy now, once again, and I'm going to try to avoid any kind of spoilers, you can see the setup. There's the, the background, there's the GM's background, there's an introduction. 
Uh, these boxes are for, in this set, text here, it's, it's for the GM's information. It goes into these, these boxes here now are what is read to the players. And I'm just going to flash through very quickly. I don't want to reveal anything. I don't want to create any spoilers. But there are, you know, it's 11 pages of adventure. And the adventure has numerous locations and a good mix of attributes that need to be checked along the way. And that's something that I really like about, uh, about certain adventures. That's what I look for in, in adventures myself is that it's requiring the player to look at their character in, you know, as a whole uh, combination of, uh, of skills and attributes that the character has. I'm going to switch views here. <coughs> and get a little cough out as well. So, um, yeah, that's, that's something that I like about adventures um, when, they, when they require you to use a variety of different skills. Uh, if adventures just focus on strength, dexterity, and constitution, um, you know, we as players, sometimes when we're creating our characters, when you, when you get too too acclimated to very straightforward dungeon crawls, um, we tend to sacrifice some of those attributes that we don't find, you know, often useful for the fighter or the thief or the, you know, rogue or whatever you want to call them, or, you know, even the cleric. I mean, the cleric will sacrifice everything for wisdom. Um, the fighter, obviously, everything for strength or constitution. The thief, everything for dexterity. Um, charisma is always the, you know, basically the unwanted bastard child of, uh, you know, of attributes. Um, in most cases, just uh, almost a throwaway attribute um, to be slighted in favor of other uh, attributes that you're looking to boost up. So um, I like to see that uh, adventures actually call upon, you know, some of those uh, some of those other attributes. Uh, this particular one is asking players to, you know, make wisdom checks, make constitution checks, make dexterity checks, um, possibly an intelligence check. I, I'd have to go back through it again to see, but I know that there was some some puzzle work in this uh, in this particular adventure. Uh, but no strength text, uh, tests. Um, like I said, one contest that I that I recall. So nothing that's that's going to really make you think monolithically about your character. You know, um, if you want to be successful in adventures, you know, you really do need to, you know, think well. You know, what are some other ways? to get around this uh, situation instead of just, you know, sticking to, you know, your class features in order to, um, in order to try to overcome challenges. So um, once again, uh, like I've always said with my channel, my channel is about getting different role playing uh, information and games out there you know, um, and certainly supporting other game developers that are trying to, uh, you know, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to get a product out there, especially, you know, quality products, um, Kickstarters. I, I've, I've always had a, a pretty decent experience with, uh, Kickstarters. I've, I've not had any, you know, I've never gotten screwed by any of them. Uh, that's for certain. And, um, you know, so I like supporting Kickstarters and I like supporting these uh, smaller developers who are putting out decent products. And, um, you know, and especially ones like this where it's, you know, it's a it's a cheap product. I mean, it's it's three dollars for an adventure. If I were to sit back and and spend the number of hours to write an 11 page adventure for three dollars, it's it's kind of, in my opinion, a no-brainer um, to have a nice little adventure there, 
that I can, you know, keep in a file ready to use uh, in case the, uh, you know, one of the players misses uh, for whatever reason, or just to throw something out there outside of the campaign so that um, the players will have a little tangent to run, uh, to run out on in between adventures. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please hit like. If you uh, have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, I do have a bit of channel news about the uh, subscription level. So we finally hit the 200, the 200 subscribers mark. So I'm really happy about that. Kind of can kind of save that for, uh, you know, after the, uh, you know, after the holiday tomorrow, and I'll, I'll put out my my channel news video um, anyway. But um, you know, I look forward to seeing you on the uh, on the gaming screen sometime soon. If you're in the states and tomorrow's Thanksgiving for you, uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you uh, you know have a good day, spending time with your you know your friends, your family, or whomever you're sharing that time with. And uh, I should be certainly looking to do some gaming this upcoming long weekend. Uh, certainly by Friday, you know, and Saturday. Certainly looking to do that Sunday. I'm probably getting ready for work. So um, you all have a good time. Happy holidays and uh, have a good time gaming. I look forward to seeing you on the screen sometime very soon. Have a good evening.